No! I haven't saved this for ages. I've got a golem here. What on earth? Holy cow, this is bad. Oh my god. It doesn't make it any easier. Like, it's just so flaming glitchy. Holy cow, he just flattened me. Wow. Bloody hell, this must be awful. <laughs> no! Oh, no, 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 no! Get up! Shooting hellfire! I do not want to die here. I haven't saved it for absolutely an eternity. Oh my god, that was close! Whew. Wow, armor of Banard. Yeah, I don't even know where the hell I am. To be perfectly fair. Cleaver, Bastard Sword, Long Sword and Sword. Orans. Let me have a look at the journal here. See what this armour is all about. Magnifying glass. <laughs> uh, armour of Ban Ard. Well, what have I got now? Which armour? Hunter's armour. 13 plus armour. Ban Ard's armour. 13. Oh, no, 16. Plus 40 to vitality, so that's the same as my current armour. Reduction of damage from magic, plus 2%. A little bit less than what I have at the moment. Incineration, bleeding and poison, plus 28% each. But the difference is, this has two extra slots. So I can actually upgrade this even further. So I think this is better than the armour I've got now. What a little find this has been. Definitely going to put this on. Nice. So a couple of upgrades in that. If I have my enhancements, I could put in, for instance, a steel plate enhancement, plus 2% to armour, and some resistance to poison, bleeding, and incineration. So I'll do that. And then I could put something else in. Hardened leather. I could put in another one. I might just wait a little bit and see if I get any further upgrades um, in the field. But yeah, so far, plus 18 to armour, and pretty much the same stats as the other armour. So better armour. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. It's all good. Okay, so let's loot this lumbly, uh, lumbering, shambling golem that we managed to defeat by the skin of our teeth. See what he gives us. Elemental stone, elemental trophy. I don't think it'll be as good as the Karen trophy, but again, we'll just take a quick peek. Uh, Karen trophy. Um, plus three to armor, 50 to vitality. Elemental Trophy, 15 to Vitality and 5 to Sign. Well, that's no use. That's no use at all. Right, okay. So, uh, good stuff. Can we get back across now? Yeah. Couldn't jump across in the middle of a battle, forcing us to fight. So, uh, certainly can jump across now. Right, we'll go back down this way. See if we can get back out to Aldrin. If you think I'm dying to a rock thing after I just killed a golem, you got another thing coming. Another sword stand. No doubt full of swords that are absolutely useless to me. I'm not even worth the effort of picking up and cluttering my inventory with. Uh, which way is the way out? This way is the way out. Ah, yes, I know where I am now. Okay, so Audrin, you still here, buddy? Come on, let's get you uh, back to the back to the camp. Come on, damn alcoholic!
Whatever you do, do not puke all over me. I've just got this armor. Just picked it up brand new. Well, it's not brand new, it's used, of course, but uh, brand new to me. Look at it, that's actually, that looks pretty nice as well. Calm down and stand up straight. Time. Up. Yes, sir. I'm going where I'm going. I'm, I'm not going where I'm not. Coming through, coming through. Nothing to see here. Halt! What's that corpse you want to drag into the camp? Private Audrin. He's a... uh... sick. Looks like he slept in a vat full of booze. And smells like he fell out of a dwarf's arsehole. Why, you limp arse prick! You saying I stink? Come here! Audrin, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> King Henzelt's in danger, and this is the only man who can provide important information. That's right. I'm the fucking only man. The only one. Get it? That's me. Shut up, Audrin. The important information. From him. You better believe it. When the commander catches him in the camp in that state, he'll skin him alive. Then skin me alive for letting him in. Not my concern. If you want, report it to your commander. I'm going to question this drunk, then hand him over to the guards. All right. But I warned you. Come in. Come on, Audrin. Be it on With my you. head! Never! Calm down and let's go. After you talked all that shit about me, you stinking prick, I'll not go anywhere with you. Not in my life. Piss off of me, you treacherous lice! Uh-oh, I think I've angered him. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You damn drunk! Inserita viritas! Have I finished it? I failed it! For a moment, Geralt thought that Audrin was so drunk that he simply wasn't aware of events happening around him anymore. However, when the drunk had overheard the witch discussion with the guard, he took offence at Geralt's promise to hand him over. To Thus, with the aid of a healthy dose of cursing, he deserted and head back towards the beach. Oh, you're joking! Geralt! God's sakes! Does that mean I'm going to have to endure the camp's shouting and screaming of Audrey's name for the entirety of the rest of this chapter? Audrey, I'm sorry! Can I convince you with some coin? Oi! Walk away from me! I highly doubt this is going to work, but uh, you never know. Piss off of me, you treacherous lice! Giving me up to the guard? Well, I'm not going anywhere with you. No! Piss off of me, you I treacherous lice! Giving me up to the guard? Well, I'm not going anywhere with you. For a brief moment there, I considered, considered uh, slicing him in two, but no. We'll leave the drunk to sleep it off, and hopefully he'll uh, return to camp in due course and shut his guard friends up. Right. Wow. Quest failed, just like that. No second chances. This game really is brutal in that respect. Hey, Maverick. I'll be solving your problem soon enough. Unless I fail that as well. <laughs> okay, well. Let's finish off with some dice poker. No. Can I tell him where? The, can I tell him where he? Uh, tell them where he is. I know where he is. You can go and get him yourself. He's down by the cave, down the road. Just go and find him. Shut up. That is my. That is my torture. I don't care about the mist. Missed experience that, that I obviously am suffering as a result of failing the quest. That doesn't. I don't care about that. It's the mere fact that I have to listen to those guys shouting for the rest of the chapter. That's the biggest uh, <laughs> drawback of failing that quest. So, right, dice poker. I'd like to play dice. Wanna play? Yes, I do. I think I've come here for to buy your crappy wares. Not a chance. Right, let's go. Roll those dice. Let's hope I can win it the first time round this, this time. I have a pair of uh, pair of fives. That'll do for now. Rolly, rolly, rolly. He has, oh, he has a full house. 
Okay. I want to I want to forfeit. I'm well behind that one. You didn't stand a chance. No, you're right, I didn't. That's why I quit. Now let's carry on. Don't walk so, away from me. Let's play round two. Like to play. Wanna play? Yes, of course I do. Alright, try again. I'm known for my persistency. Let's go again, rolly rolly. What have I got? I have uh, the two pair. Sixes and ones, and you have two pair. Sixes and threes. Oh, for God's sake. I'm behind again. But you never know, I might fall or throw a full house. So we'll free roll the five. But the minimum, he raises. I throw a six, and I win. Or I throw a three, and I lose. Nice. You didn't stand that. Yes, yes, whatever. Let's keep going. So? All that coin that I got from the foray into the cave system is uh, I'd like to play that. Slowly bleeding play. away here. My uh, rather unlucky dice poker skills. Trip threes. And you have absolutely nothing. Pair of threes. Yes, I'm ahead now, but I still will end up losing, no doubt. Right. Reroll that. Reroll that. At the maximum, because I'm winning. Let's hope he passes, eh? Here we go. Thank you and good night. You won. Do you want coin or something special? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Something special. The trouble with something special is I'm. It's hit and miss on whether or not it'll be useful to me. But I can always sell it if it's not. So, uh, yeah. What's this something special? I'd prefer something besides gold. I see you've got quite a bit of armor. No, I don't want armor! If that's your wish, I can offer you a number of armor designs, specifically for studded, tempered, or supple leather armor. Oh. Tempered armor design sounds interesting. Studded armor design, leather armor. I just got some new armor. I really don't think it's going to be much better than what I've got, so I think I'll take the gold after all, to be fair. Yeah, I'll take the gold. I think I'll stick to coin. How much coin did I get? Again, it just flashed up so quick I didn't see it. <laughs> and I was specifically looking in the corner waiting for it to flash up. Still missed it. Uh, inventory? A couple of hundred? Yeah, that's like about a couple of hundred. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, uh, before I leave here, I just want to double check with Lesoto. Uh, Lesoto. Lesoto? Yeah, that's gone home, isn't it? <laughs> I've gone home on the brain. Uh, I, I have a broom. I can sell you my broom. Additional weapon. I beat you down with my broom. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's going to go down too well against uh, the likes of Rock Fiends, etc. And Bruxer. Hunter's Ammo, I won't sell those just yet. Kept any jack boots. Now, I don't know if they're actually better than the boots I have now. It might be worth checking that out. Um, anything else that I have to sell? Any more junk? Magnifying glass. Right, we'll go across here and see what he has. I'm not bothered about daggers and things like that. I'm not buying armor. It's too expensive. Armor enchantments. I think I can get those uh, in the in the field. So I'm not going to really splash out on them. Uh, how can we not bother crafting? It's, it's the it's the diagrams that that he, that he excels at really. Now he has amethyst armor enhancement. I guess plus five to vitality and plus one to armor. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice indeed. And I have all the ingredients to do this as well. Uh, what else we got? Amethyst dust, blue meteorite, silver sword. These are nice silver swords. But there are some ones. The Draugr armor. Wow! Look at the cost of that. This is really, really good armor. Plus twenty-five. All these resistances. Plus 50 to vitality. I mean, look at it. It is really a very nice piece. And one which I should really purchase before I finish this chapter. So that's going to be added to the list. Um, and then we have a bit further down, which I missed last time. I have We have these robust Kedwini sword, or we have these robust blue meteorite silver sword. 
will be 501, and I think I have all the... I don't have the silver ore, but I have most of the other stuff. And look at the damage. 29 to 33 damage. Although I don't want... I want the red variety. Rather than the blue. There is also a yellow, isn't there? Robust red meteorite silver sword. Yeah, 29 to 33. Robust red. 30 to 32. 29 to 33. That gives adrenaline. So these are two ones. Yellow, no, no, it's the robust red that I think I will go for. 30 to 32 damage and 1% instant kill. That's a silver sword. Um, let's have a look at what I have at the moment. I have 18 to 27, so it's a massive improvement in terms of damage um, so yeah this is definitely a sword that I should be perhaps aiming to 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 craft it's only a hundred and something coin orans for the formula so I'm actually gonna get the formula now so that I have it I'm gonna hold off buying the Draugr armor formula until I get a bit of extra cash so let's go all the way down. Sorry, crafting diagrams. All the way down. Robust red meteorite silver sword. Uh, yeah, we'll go for this one. So we'll buy that. Call it a reward for winning the dice poker. And that'll do for now. Can't craft it. I don't think I've got enough silver ore. So I play dice poker. I uh, managed to somehow stumble across Audrin and fail that quest. So there's one last thing to do before the session comes to a close. Where are you? And that is to speak with Death Mold about uh, Henselt's medallion and what we found out about it. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coin. Oh, there's Henselt. Look at him cruising over a map. Is an we need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pack her up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. You can't turn down tea, Geralt. Not on your life. Right, well, quite a few things to uh, discuss with him here. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Draugrs. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you're here. As for the king, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, Though it's not something I would advise. Does the name Vincent Trott sound familiar? A traitor. He did some damage in my ranks. One dead and two still in the field hospital. If you know where he's hiding, I have some issues I'd like to discuss with him. The tools are already in the fire, but the rogue seems to have donned an invisibility cap. I believe he has Seltkirk's armor, one of the artifacts. My investigation's at a dead end. I know not where he is, and I'll soon need to resort to more radical methods. Hold off a bit longer. If he escapes... There's no way to do so. My people guard the ford, and I doubt our brave Vincent could make it past the Spectres. He must be nearby. Learn anything new about the curse? A mage on the other side of the fog is also probing the battlefield. A sorceress. How do you know? You shall know them by the fruit of their spells. Magic differs with the brain type that generates it. The female mind is simply laid out differently. It could be Triss. No, but uh, it's someone far more powerful. Far more powerful than old Trissy? You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Uh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. The plotters, 
I know where they meet. I knew I could count on you. Is that enough for you then? One can tell a real man, not by how he begins, but by how he finishes. What else do you want from me? I shall give you four of my men who will be near at hand and provide backup if something goes awry. They'll stay out of sight until summer. Bring me one of the plotters alive. I have many questions. I must know who's behind all this. Philippa Eilhart and Sabrina Glevisig. From Mandrake, Seaman and Princestone in the belly of a man. Okay, so uh, by the looks of it, she is an unnatural we have something to do. Conspiracy theory. Told me to dig deeper. Well, dig deeper we shall in the next part, because we've come to the end of today's session. Uh, as I say, I apologise for the slightly jerky uh, <laughs> jerky session today, but as I said, I, I did a tinker with a few settings of the, of the graphics card, and it seems to have worked against me. If I, if I realised it was going to get as bad as it did, I would probably have uh, started the session again uh, with the old settings. But uh, anyway, I, I, I sort of soldiered on through, and uh, the next session will be back to back to the old settings, and it should be a lot smoother. So until then, when we head out and uh, look to uh, maybe solve this the mystery of, of the square coin God. issue, and then venture even further afield into uh, beyond the walls here, and exploring towers and basically looking for ways to solve and lift this curse, uh, join me then.